Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, and welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I want to talk to you about the role of the wrist in the forehand. And I want to show you how by using centrifugal force, you can generate much more power on your forehand. And if you're not making this movement correct already, then you might be able to add 30 or 40% power to your forehand today. Now what I want to do in this session is explain what centrifugal force is, what its role is in the forehand, and how you can apply it to your forehand almost immediately. So to demonstrate centrifugal force, if I take the racket and just spin it on my finger, when I make wide circles from the center, then the racket will go slow. But if I make the center axis smaller, then the racket accelerates. Wider, slower, and closer in, and faster. So by making the center axis smaller, I increase the centrifugal force on the racket and the acceleration of the racket. And it's the same in the forehand. I'll show you without the racket to begin. We go into a neutral position on the unit turn, and then we'll have the racket lag and the wrist will lay back into extension. This is extension, this is flexion. Flexion plays no part in the forehand. So I have neutral, and now the racket will lag back into extension, and now I want to accelerate through into neutral. Now with the racket, neutral, extension, and neutral. Let me show you what effect that has on the racket and how you can apply it. You see, what a lot of players do is they have extension, and they stay in extension all the way through. When you see that from this direction, you'll see that I'm not actually hitting through the ball when I stay extended. I'm hitting across the ball. This is very often caused by the phrase a windscreen wiper forehand. But in with that windscreen wiper motion is the fact that if I'm wiping the window, then the racket doesn't go forwards. It just goes across. And this does not create the maximum amount of power. What I really want to happen is the racket goes neutral position for the wrist, remember, on the unit turn, and then we have extension, and then we go back to neutral. And now the racket is extending through the ball instead of just up the ball. So to do this, I want to focus on the book cap of the racket. So I go into neutral position, and the racket and the book cap is pointing down and kind of towards me. And then when I have extension, it points to my target, in this case it's you. And now, to, get, to harness that centrifugal force, what I want to do as quickly as possible through contact is point the, uh, the book cap towards myself and down. Towards myself and down. And now as I make the stroke, we'll break it up into pieces, unit turn, here, towards myself and down, here, towards myself and down. And see how now I'm projecting the racket through the ball instead of just across the ball. And now we extend further. So we go unit turn, point to the camera, and now we're going to bring that uh, the book cap to myself and down and complete the stroke. To myself down and complete the stroke. And once again, breaking it down, Unit turn to the camera, to myself and down. And now we put the whole thing together. So we have our unit turn as quickly as we see the ball. And then as the ball approaches, we want everything to flow together. So I'm going to point the racket butt at the uh, target and then at myself and down. From this direction, unit turn at the target to myself and down. And by doing this, you will extend through the ball as well as just extending up and over the ball. Most players are not doing this, even though every single professional player that you've seen, they all make this in their basic fundamental forehand. So you see them in this position here, and then you see this extension. See how there's almost a straight line from my arm through the racket and through to contact. Again, a straight line and across. If you can harness centrifugal force, and once again, I'll show you the centrifugal force. So slow is a big circle, and fast is a little circle. Slow is a big circle, and fast is a little circle. What we're doing here is making the little circle right now, there. Right now, there. And now, in the stroke, 
And if you do this and apply it to your game, you get really easy power. You don't lose control, but the, the actual speed of the ball is radically different. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how it works in your game or your player's game. Let me know in the feedback. You know we reply to every single comment. If you want to practice this on court, have a look at our partners, playyourcourt.com. They'll send a professional tennis coach direct to your area and direct to your local court. It's an awesome service and the information on their membership with a discount is in the comment section below. And if you like this lesson and maybe you're at a roadblock, maybe you're struggling to get to the next level, have a look at our website, the information is below, and have a look at what online coaching can do for you. We're helping players with video analysis, personalized lessons, and a whole lot of other stuff of all ages, all levels, and all over the world. So remember, use extension to neutral, right? Extension to neutral and generate centrifugal force in your forehand and hit harder, faster, and cleaner today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.